Okay, this is the lovely Hilda who scored Joker. Round of applause, congratulations! Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, this is a, an unusual job, I would say. You might, you might, one might have thought, okay, Joker, going to be a bit comic book, bit of kind of wham bam, and it wasn't like that at all. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy doing the darker side of film? I yes, yes, I do. It's. Um, I do get a lot of questions about that because my personality in everyday life is, is rather um, cheerful and you know, I like to <laughs> laugh. Into something else. Yeah, exactly. But I do think, you know, every person has a dark side and a, and a light side. And, and my, you know, I guess luckily for my family, uh, my lighter side is the day to day side and my darker side is the, the yeah, music. Comes the musical side. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And did you become involved in the film right at the beginning or when you were? shown you know the ideas at the beginning because i know that todd is quite a free-flowing kind of director isn't he yeah, yes well he is and he isn't he isn't he um he's a really strong director he knows he has really clear ideas about what he wants to do and he um and he goes really like dives into it, the direction that he wants to go but he contacted me very early on as he was just finishing writing a script and and um asked me if I was interested and I and I of course like assumed like I guess everyone else like Joker oh is it going to be like an action movie then I'm probably not the right person for the job but then I, I read the script and I just absolutely fell in love with it and it was just so so well written and it was just so powerful I thought and I I, I really did think that I was the right person for the job so so he asked me to um to start writing music just based on my feelings of the script so so I wrote a lot of the I mean all the main themes I wrote before they started shooting so they were able to use that music um, as they were shooting. So it was able to kind of be a part of the... It could give a mood. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Not only a mood, there were like whole scenes where Joaquin is basically responding to the music. So there's this, uh, I guess, the most Dance. distinct um, uh, um, a scene that, that we would see that after this in the bathroom dance where yeah. he's literally just like being led by the music and improvises this dance that wasn't scripted at all. Yeah. So that was a pretty um, magical process. Yeah, to that's be beautiful for you, yeah. right? Yes, it was. So I have a very um, particular question about Joker, which mm -hmm. is, um, you read the script. Did you have any indication that he, how much of it is in his head and how much of it is out? Well, I think that the the wonderful thing about you're going to be this diplomatic film, now, aren't no, you? No, no. I mean, it's it's. I, th I think the great thing about this film, and I think you know, um, all f like the the best films, in my opinion, are the films that that really gives that gives the audience a lot of space to interpret the story themselves. You know, and and I I always enjoy that the most as as an audience. Um, and I think, you know, there's so many layers of, of this story that you're kind of wondering, wait, is that real or is that not? Is it in his head? And it's kind of, you know, there's no right or wrong answer about it. It's, you know, every person basically has their own version of, of who is real and what is real. And, and, I, and I think that's, that's, that's just a really great part of the film. I think it's very true. Can I just say how beautiful your dress is? It's like it's made out of raffia or something. Yes, it's amazing. Yes, yes. It's like a string instrument. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could actually play. Like, yes, exactly. Oh, oh, sorry, I've got to be told to wrap it up. You can't have any questions, so tough luck. Sorry. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Hilda. Thank you.